Well, the Mini Trotters Association continues to churn out some outstanding young talent. The latest off the production line is Clayton Bagini, and I caught up with Clayton following his drive at Club Eagle today. Well, Clayton, before we have a chat about your career to date, that was a fine effort by Top the Ace in that previous race. Got the line very nicely. Yeah, he was um, he was travelling on the bit today. Trev tra changed some gear a bit in the weekend on the week, and um, he travelled real nice and come come home real good actually. I think Clayton has a win very close for Top the Ace, particularly around Penrith. Yeah, um, well, we've been racing him at Penrith lately. Just the two starts now. We've just um, been bringing him here. Um, we might take him back to Penrith. I don't know what Trev will do. But, um, yeah, he's, he, he's keen. Um, he might win a couple soon. The Bagini name's been association with trotting for a long time. Yeah, it has. Um, my Nanu, which is my pop, he's, um, he raced in the early 70s, 80s to the 2010 10s. And um, he's, he's been around. And then my dad stepped in about four years ago, five years ago, he's, he was um, doing the mini shots with us and then he said, oh, maybe I'll start trying to do the big horses like my pop, that new. Mm. And um, yeah, he's been um, training for about four or five years. And brother Jake's going well? Yeah, he's been going good, actually. Um, he's had about 13, 14 wins and um, yeah, he's going all right, yeah. Now let's have a chat about the mini trot you started out at the age of six. Yeah, I started at six and um, first um, time I drived, um, I was a bit scared, but Dad um, said just hop on, just give, just feel, feel the reins a bit, and um, Dad helped me, and yeah, ever since I've been driving the mini trots, and now I'm with the big horses. And what a wonderful association! Not only do you get the drive and be associated with these wonderful animals, but yeah. get the chance to make a lot of friends. Yeah, um, well, I've made a lot of friends now actually since I've been driving. Been heaps of heaps of friends in there. Just talk to them every time I go to Penrith, Menangle, Newcastle. Yeah, I've got heaps of friends. 10 years in the Mini Trotters and you had some success. Yeah, I've um, had some success. Um, in 2014 at Gundagai, I won the Mini Trotter Championships, um, the Mini Trotter Division. And yeah, I won by a pretty big margin actually. Yeah, it was good. And you had a couple of interesting clashes with someone we introduced to our audience a few weeks ago, Jet Turnbull. Yeah, we have, me and him have clashed a bit. But um, yeah, we're, we're good mates, me and Jet. And um, we, um, I, well, um, last year I bring a pony for him. Um, one of my ponies, Dad said, just give Jet a go because he only has one pony, and I was driving about four. So I'd, we just gave him the pony to drive around at um, the championships. I think we've got some exciting new talent with you and Jet uh, ready to emerge through, like the likes of Cam Hart and Jack Callaghan and Josh Gallagher and the likes. That must be encouraging that all these are now stars. Yes, they are. They're very good drivers, and um, hopefully I can be like them one day. And how many drives have you had with the big boys now? Uh, about 12. 12, and I'm going all right. And that was your second or third placing too with Top the Ace? Yeah, second or third placing and um, yeah, so I've had a placing at um, Penrith, come a third and third today. And Clayton, you're still at school? Yeah, I'm at school, I'm at um, Beadpolding College at Windsor, um, probably finish this year and then try to start an apprenticeship as a plumber next year. So you're going to be playing it sensibly, you're going to have a job in the workforce and also combine that with your love for harness racing? Yes, um, yeah, well, I'll probably do, when, do plumbing in the mornings to three o'clock and then go home and do the horses with my dad and brother. brother. You were in the silks of Trevor Monday, I was speaking to Trevor early in the day, along with Brian Portelli. Both gave you a very big rap. They said you're keen to listen and learn and you're also very keen to work. Well, you've got to listen to the best, some of the best in the harness racing or you won't get nowhere to be honest so I'll just listen to them listen feel listen to the trainers as much um, listening as I can do and see how we go and who are some of the stars of today that you look up to uh, Luke Luke McCarthy Blake Fitzpatrick and Robert Morris I just love how they drive and they drive good horses and win heaps of races so hopefully I can be like them one day as a wish and as you said, you're around there in the barn, mixing it with those type of people these days, so you have the opportunity to learn from them? Yes, um, lot, um, I've been talked to, talk to Blake and Robbie and Luke all the time, so hopefully they can give me a few pointers when I'm out there. Well, we certainly wish you the very best of luck. Yeah. You've got some wonderful people that you're, you admire and yeah. follow in their footsteps. If you turn out to be half as good as them, yeah, Clayton, good. you're going to be good. Yeah, yeah, it'll be real good. Yeah, hopefully I'll turn out half as good as them, yeah. It's been good to catch up with you, and hopefully... We'll be catching up with you very shortly as a winner. Hopefully here at Club Angle. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I love this track. It's real good. The last two starts I've had here, they're real nice. So the last start it was a bit muddy, but I got, it was it was all right. It was good. Well, we're going to be following your future with very uh, keen eyes from this point onwards. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, it'll be good.